Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to, uh, well, a bit of uh, Photoshop gradient work. And it's just using blending modes to create a sort of contour in Photoshop. And I'm just going to go over to Photoshop CC. And same basic approach for CC, CSX, etc., PC or Mac. So uh, just select the gradient tool. It's just over there. And there's options here, obviously, for different gradient libraries. And the one I'm going to be using is the special effects. Now, this is the same for quite a few versions. I, I think it all the way back to version 6. I can't recall, actually. But uh, just basically, it's like, OK. And this one is the gray value stripes. Just select that. And I'm just going to use it in the radial mode with darken. Now, the one thing about this, and I love, let's say, using blending modes with gradients as well. And you just basically apply it. And it just forms just this sort of radial gradient. Just obviously graduated, goes off, just stops there. Right. Well, you can, of course, using darken, you can actually apply it multiple times. And actually, you'll notice the actual gradients surprisingly blend together uh, and just create that you can create a very interesting contour design very quick and easy and of course you could actually finish at this point oh, you can continue on adding more and more but next stage I'm just going to go image adjustments invert and I actually quite like that I actually prefer the inverted version than uh, that so it's actually black background going all the way to a white top and of course at this point you could do some other things I'm just going to go to filter Gaussian blur just apply a very very subtle Gaussian blur which actually makes it look like bubbles at that point she certainly does in the uh, the preview anyway but what I'm going to do next is the filter render lighting effects now not all of them work particularly but I want what I'm going to do is try and make a 3d option there you are that's just using a default preset crossing down and you've got a three-dimensional sort of contour design which of course could be uh, useful for maybe in 3d designs the other one of course could be useful for 3d as well before i've even gone into this lighting effects right so as that and of course you could use other things like filter and right and another one I like is oil paint. And that can be used for again for very three dimensional imageries with the contour designs. So, anyway, you can of course use the gradients in thousands of different ways and use different blending modes, like say difference or overlay, etc., to create different effects with the gradient tool. And of course, experiment with some of the other gradients that come with the Photoshop, as well as obviously ones you can find on the web. I hope you found this tutorial of interest and you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Really great if you do. And always adding new videos. Thank you very much.